Welcome back, folks. Shh. There's a witch out there. We had to figure out about that. Now, I do remember King's Quest Seven, The Princeless Bride, in the chapter... Four or five, maybe? Uh, will the real Troll King please stand up? It was something like that, I, I, I think. There was this whole part where there was a woman who was crying similar to that at a grave, and then whatever you looked at her, you died. So you wore this black cloak, and that people thought you were her and left you... I, I think. it's It's been such a long time. Excuse me. We're sorry. The druid you are currently trying to communicate with is having an out-of-body experience. Please try again later. Shake him! Please respect the personal space. What part of reclusive... Go into this house then. We we gotta find a way past her though. I I I'm sure she's something important. Oh, hey. You're welcome in my home, Graham. But do not tarry long. I have much to do. I can tell the nap was. You long, oh, sorry. Hey, buddy. Um. Good day, Graham. How goes your quest? This going. What an amazing portrait. Yeah. It is my sister, Arya. She was lost long ago, kidnapped by some force we could not see. And in that captivity, she passed from this world. I'm sorry to hear of her fate. Is that the match? It has been many years since then, but she was a noble druidess. And though I miss her, I honor her memory. Around that same time, there was a druidess of another land who was also stolen from her people. But her fate was never known. It was Fand who made those candles. Why are they here? Fand's family asked me as Archidruid to try to find some sense of her as their final attempt. The candles each hold an essence of nature and are of her creation, which they sent to me so that I might be aided in my search. Her presence was either gone or hidden from my powers, nor could she be found even with the help of spirit nature. The family asked if Fan's belongings remain here, should some new way of finding her ever come about. But none has, and both women are lost to us. Such a sad story. Who would do such a thing? I do not know, Gran, though I wish I did. We do not take it lightly when our brethren are harmed. You mentioned that the druidess made these. What is so special about them? Each holds some essence of nature within it. They aid in my studies. She must have been a very wise woman. Yes, quite. She was very talented. Why is it that one candle has never been burned? It was the last candle she made, and into it she poured a piece of her own essence. Only one who sought her aid could ever be able to light it, or even remove it from where it now lies. But none have been able to. It was not her aid to us we sought, but our aid for her. Well, that tells me something very important. I feel privileged being on this island. You I've should. heard many stories about it from my son. The Isle of Mist is filled with the wonders and magic of the world of nature. And it is in this world we druids thrive, always seeking to learn more of the wisdom which Mother Nature provides for us. It is a goal one may never fully achieve, we know. But we know as well that it is the seeking of the goal which matters more. That is a noble quest indeed. Is nature more accessible for learning on this island than the others? The mist keeps most visitors out. And we like it that way, so that we may commune with nature unhindered by the distractions most humans would bring here with them. For those who wish to learn, we welcome them into our village. For those who do not seek to harm, we will allow them on our shores. But to any who would cause damage to our way of life and to our island, our shores are ever shut. One could not expect you would welcome such visitors. 
one must be careful with the treasures of Mother Nature. Many come here searching for her spirit. Can it be found? Of course. Now that you mention it, she could guide you. If only you can speak to her, of course. And I can? Only druids may speak to her. Was that that crazy thing that, like, kicked our ass? Can you tell me anything more about the spell to save my children? No more than you know now. You have the spell ingredients. When you have completed the list, bring them back to me. I can only help you further then. That was a strange and sudden storm last night. It was. And I do not like it. There are too many strange things happening for it to all be just coincidence. What do you mean? A stranger at your daughter's wedding. The affliction that has now stricken both your children. And a natural storm. And my wife committing su I almost committing suicide. Goodbye. I will continue on my quest now. Look for the signs of Mother Nature. Yeah, she killed me last time. I'm gonna try and take this. May I try to move the candle, if you will allow me? It cannot hurt to try. If you wish, you may. And... I got it! <gasps> Amazing! You were able to, but... But how could you seek Fan's aid when you did not know of her until moments ago. I think she was the one that killed me no earlier. I have no idea that right now I would seek and accept the aid of anyone, even a noble druidess I've never met. If such is the way it was intended, take the candle with you, King Graham. Perhaps Fan will aid you after all. Thank you, noble druid. Another uh, thing that I wanted to try and test out with is... Um, we need salt, and uh, the only place I could really think of to get salt was from the water. So I think that's something I want to try, and if I can somehow boil it away over the fire, uh, that is one potential thought I had. And I also want to check out if I can use the candle on the chick. A cup full of salt water! Yes! All right, excellent. Can you get out? Graham? There we go. Yes! Yes! All right, let's take a look at it. The water ripples as the cup fidgets, but it isn't spilling out. That's a relief. The cup is filled with seawater. A.K.A. salt water. Now, if we put that over the flame... I've been wanting to try out a bunch of things, uh... That's what I hate. I'm going to work and I'm like, I can't stop thinking about this game. Which is a great, great sign for this game. Now, now. Hey, Graham certainly doesn't want to kill the poor thing. There's got to be a less intense way of doing this. Now, there's got to be a less intense way of doing this. Can we put on the stick? Graham considers it, but... Damn it. I'm close. Unfortunately, they are incompatible. Well, think about that. That is... that is something, though. Oh, what if we wrap it in iceberg lettuce? Well, think about that. Alright, Missy. Can you try not to kill me this time? I've got a candle. Graham is generous. The other thing is I can try putting on the cloak. You were warned. One use only. And that is not going that is not going to work. Alright, let me try the candle. Alright, take a look at me. Don't don't scream. Don't let me startle you. No, no, don't. Don't do it. Uh All right, all right, all right. Candle, 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 candle. Candle of justice. Graham is Graham is 
We probably need earplugs. Talk about a split. Earplugs might do this. I don't think we have anything to plug our ears with, though. Shut up. I'm just trying to put the finger in my ear. Put the shell to my ear? Alright. I'll come back to you later. I'm actually not going to uh, really try that that much in terms of puzzle solving right now. I want to explore as much as I can. Can I take you? I can take you! People don't mind me taking you? One red, one blue. I wonder if you'll see in 3D if you put it on. Very cute. Well, let's try. One red, one blue. What would you... If it... Um... Let's try the iceberg. Unfortunate. Try the iceberg lettuce in the fling. If it but then we There's gotta be a less intense way of doing it. Well We've gotta boil it out. Graham can Alright, we still got another island to go to. I know there's puzzles I can solve right now. Can I go in here? Try all you Alright. I know there's puzzles I can certainly solve here. If I give some more time to it, but uh, I'm 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 done with this area right now. I want to go to the last aisle and just uh, investigate there and try and collect as much as I can. Ready to sail? Yes. The Isle of the Sacred Mountain. And I think. I think once we go to all of these islands, we should, in theory, at least have a better grasp of everything going on. I've got a few ideas, as I said, rolling through my head right now. <gasps> swim, 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 swim. Alright. Take you. This is Nightshade. Graham seems to recall reading about this flower. It's nightshade if memory serves. They say it can take... Yeah, it can take your breath away. But not in the fun way. More like in the literal kill you way. Alright. What do we got up here? Hey guys. Graham doesn't want to waste his time. Graham... All right, this was not quite as productive as I hoped. The guards would definitely not appreciate that. There could be precious... I don't know what I could do to... Graham doesn't... Hmm. <laughs> this is certainly something. A totem from the Druid's village. Graham isn't entirely certain of the significance of the horned skull, or the decorations hanging from it, but maybe it will help him. All right, I got a couple more ideas I want to think about, but uh, I am going to cut off here, folks. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and please tune in to the next episode of King's Quest and the Silver Lining, or every cloak has a silver lining. That's what it is. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>